Welcome back, everyone. So continuing my training on Google Certified Educator Level 1. As I had mentioned in my last training that we have created uh, the course uh, divided into four modules. So we are looking at module one, second topic today, which is Google Tasks. Now, these are the activities which we will cover up in this video is how do you create a task from Gmail, create a task from the tasks toolbar, assigning due date and time for the tasks and marking a task complete. Now, this is one of the topics which uh, a lot of people have not been used apps. Uh, sorry, this is an app which not many people have been using, but it's a really wonderful app. We all sometimes forget in, uh, you know, performing a task or, or the kind of a reminder. We forget keeping a reminder for ourselves, even if it's on the calendar, sometimes we forget to add it on the calendar. But what tasks does is it makes your life easy. So log in into your Gmail. Once you're logged into your Gmail, you could click on any email. So as soon as you click on email, so the first thing we're going to learn today is how do you add or email as a task. Now, suppose you've received a very important email from your principal, uh, which lets you, uh, which gives you, you know, some kind of a responsibility during an event. So open up that mail. You will see a link right on the top here is add to tasks, this particular link. Okay. Now, as soon as I click on this, so let me, so as soon as I click on this link, you have the tasks toolbar opening up right on the right side of the Gmail. And what it does is it automatically adds it up for you. Now, if you feel this task needs to have a due date, okay? So I would click on this. I would just select the date and time. Suppose I will just put a due date here that, okay, fine, my deadline is 15th July. And I will go back to my tasks list. Now, that was one way of creating a task. Open the mail, click on tasks, and the tasks get added automatically. The second way of creating tasks, like creating a task from the tasks toolbar, it's again very simple. You will see a link here, tasks, even if you're on your inbox. So you have a link here, tasks. So this time what we would do is we would click on add a task. So, okay, I have a task, okay, that I am going to prepare. So, prepare for video recording of a topic, okay? And what I would do is I would just not give a deadline, uh, you know, kind of a due date here, and I would just leave it like this. So if you see, these are all my tasks which are pending to be done. And here I have created a task with subtasks also. So it's very simple to do that. But what I will do is right now, that was creating a task right inside the task toolbar. So I could just click on this edit details. And in this particular task, I can add subtasks. Okay, check lighting and check green screen. Okay, that's done. So now you see, that's my task. That's my subtask, that's my task. If I've given a due date, it gives me a due date. And it gives me a mail also because this particular tasks I created from inside the email itself. Now, we also looked into assigning due date and time for the task. So let's see how do you mark a task complete? That's the most easiest of all. Now suppose if this task is complete, just click on it. And the tasks disappear from the task list. 
if this task window is shut, you can always put it on by clicking on tasks here. Okay. Now remember one thing, whenever you assign the due date, you have an option of setting up time also. So that's the date, that's the time, click on OK. And this would keep reminding you as to which tasks is pending. I hope it was easy for all of you to understand and thank you for watching. See you in my next lesson.